Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create a virtual machines on Microsoft Azure. So now, let's get started. Open browser and then access into the portal.azure.com website. Assuming you already have an account and log in into the system. This is the dashboard of my account. You scroll it down into the Azure services section. Let's click on the virtual machines option. The system will navigate me to the virtual machines page where I can click on the careers button to create a new virtual machine. I have some option here. So let's select the first option to create a virtual machine powered by Azure. The system will open a new page to create a virtual machine. On this page, I have some tab for the basic option, this option, networking, management, advanced tasks, and review and create. Let's go ahead to follow all of the steps here to create a new virtual machine for demonstration. Okay, the first session will be the project detail. I will keep the Azure subscription one by default. And for the resource group, you can create a new one by clicking on create a new, or you can click on the drop down button here to select an existing one. I will select an existing one. The next step, I need to enter some the information for virtual machine name in detail. I will have the chain yet setting for the reasons. Let me click on drop down button here and then select the option. I'm in the Asia Pacific, so I will select some option in Asia Pacific. I select the option E. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, okay. And for the availability options and the availability shown, I will keep this one by default. Yeah, but you can change this based on some of the availability options here. The same thing for zone. You can select multiple zones to do the configuration for the virtual machine. For the security ties, I will select the standards option. Keep it by default. For the image, the image for the virtual machine, I will select the window. Yeah, I will select the server 2016 data center, then two, and then the sizing for virtual machine. You can click on the drop down button here to select other spec for the virtual machine. Because this one only for the testing. So I will select the first option for the DS1 V2, only one CPU and 3.5 gigabyte of memory. Select this one. The next step, I need to enter the administrator account information for the username, get and for the password. And confirm that work. Yeah. In the inbound portal rule, let's keep the allow selected post in the rule. I will select the HTTP, HTTPS option. Yeah. And for the licensing, would you like to use an existing Windows Server license? So for this one, because I don't have the license, so I will keep this one by default. Let's click on the next button. The system will direct me to the list tab to select the option for the OS list type. And here, click on this option, and I will select the standard for the SSD and go to the encryption type. Yeah, I will give this one by default. Click on F button. 
So here you can see some more information for the list uh, management. Let's click on the networking button. And in the networking tab, we have some other option for the virtual network. Let's keep this one by default. Subnet also keep this one by default. For the public IP, I also want to keep this one by default as well. For the NIC network security group, keep this one in the basic plan. And for the public inbound post, I will allow some part here. Yeah, okay, so let's click on management tab. In the management tab, you can see here, we have the monitoring session where we can do some of the configuration for monitoring. Yeah. And if I don't have any changes here, I will move to the new tab in the advanced. If you don't have any customization, so let's keep this one by default. Click on tax button. This one will keep by default and then go to the review and create tab. So here, this is an overview page after we create some of the specific option for the virtual machine. We have the product detail. Yeah, the standard option EBS on V2. And here, this is the estimation of the cost for the server per hour. Yeah. So this information just for the reference. But it would be difference based on the US of the project. Okay. And then if we have no more comment, let's click on create button. The system will take some minutes to create a virtual machine for me. So you see here the status, the deployment status still in progress at this time. In the deployment status, you also see it here. It is deploying the virtual machine for GNVS daddy. Yeah. So you see here, the deployment has been success. And click on the go to resource. Yeah. In the overview tab, you can see for the GNVS daddy virtual machine. And in the essential section, you see here, we can see the operating system in window and the sizing is standard BS1 V2. Yeah. You scroll it down to see some other information in properties. Yeah. Networking. This is a public IP address and this is a private IP address for our virtual machine. Yeah. For the availability scaling, zone one. And for the security time, it would be default option. Yeah. And for the sizing, the disk and Azure spot. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's the enough information. So let me copy the public IP address. Let me open the remote desktop. Put it here. Connect. So now I need to provide the account in order to remote the PC. Yes, I have the GNVA and for the password. Remember? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and this is the new virtual machine. And here, the window is loading. Yeah, so this is the window server for the virtual machine. Open the photo. This PC. Properties. Yeah. And you see here, we have the Windows Server 2016 data center, and the RAM would be 3.5. System type is 64 bit operating system. Yeah. 
Okay, all right. So let's close this one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now, in case if you don't want to use the virtual machine anymore, you can click on the start button and set it down. Yeah. And because I'm using the option is pay as you go, so I need to turn off the virtual machine in order to save costs for my account. Okay, close this one, and then back to the browser, back to the home page. This is the dashboard, and you see here in the recent resources, we can see the virtual machine here has the greatest in over six minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, cool. Open the virtual machine again. Yeah. So in the left menu, we have some other options for the overview, settings, operation, monitoring, and automation. So we need to spend some time to explore some feature of other options in the left menu later. Okay, cool. And you can click on restart button here to restart for virtual machine, or even click on stop button to stop the virtual machine. Yes. Okay, all right. So I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.